My name is Nick Nistico with Breakthrough Beverage. We're here at the Charleston Grill in beautiful Charleston, South Carolina, and we're gonna work with one of the most iconic staple ingredients to Charleston culture, the Benny Wafer. Remember the first time I ever had a Benny Wafer? It was like a combination of a sweet cookie and a cracker come together in some crunchy deliciousness. And all I kept thinking about was how I wanted to infuse it into some whiskey. If you look at these two bottles here, there's a slight difference in color. All I do is whatever I'm gonna infuse inside to, I take my Benny Wafers and I pop them right inside. I like about 100 grams per bottle if I were gonna infuse a whole bottle. So from here, I just pour right over top. And really the trick to this is not agitating the medium that's in there. You just let it sit, you don't stir it around or get in there and mess with it because then things start to break apart and it gets very, very cloudy inside the bottle. You can see here, we just have a nice dark, rich color that comes off of that. So I would let this sit for about an hour and then strain it out, and I would end it up with a completed version right here, which I put right back into the bottle, ready to go, and we're gonna use that to make the cocktail. So right inside my mixing glass, I'm gonna take that Benny Wafer infused Old Forester. I'm gonna put about two and a half ounces right inside of there. So I'm gonna go an extra half ounce that I would normally do for an old fashioned. And here's the thing, that's it. I'm not gonna put anything else in there. The sweetness is already built in from the Benny Wafer. I don't want too much bitter that I would usually get from bitters inside of there because I really want that Benny Wafer flavor to shine through. So I'm gonna take my glass, add some ice, Take our infused whiskey. Just gonna stir that old forester up real nice. Just looking for some dilution inside of there. Just gonna strain that right over top of our ice. And then what could be a better garnish for such a treat than a Benny Wafer itself? Gonna dig right in here, look for a nice good one. And just float that right on top of there. And there you have it, a Benny Wafer Old Forester Old Fashioned.